Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. There is a commonly heard expression, at least in political circles, that a conservative is nothing more than a liberal just five years behind. True. When it comes to the great battles of our day, we need to realize that those driving the bus are the commies, the Marxists. They have almost total control of everything, including large parts of the church. How have they accomplished this? In a word, they are extremely aggressive and relentless. They never stop pushing forward. It's what you could call a Marxist march through a combination of understanding so-called conservatives' mindsets, human nature in general, and excessive cunning, they have gotten most, meaning nearly all of the culture, to accept varying degrees of their agenda. Once a person comes to accept part of their agenda, they generally move on to accept all of the agenda. Not every single person, of course, but then again, they don't need every single person, just enough. You don't need to win the game by five touchdowns. A field goal works just fine. Thank you very much. A win is a win. In the meantime, so-called conservatives have offered next to nothing in the way of resistance, pushback, or even shown much of a fighting spirit. A few certainly, but then again, nowhere near enough. Enough is the key word here. Apparently, it is the nature of these conservatives to be little else than beta males. They have little to no vision, no forethought, Nothing beyond an ideal of what they want or think the world should be, but pitifully little ambition to then go out and make it happen. They also seem to be all but completely oblivious to the forward march of the Marxists and even doubling down, they even go along with parts of it. In the area of sexual morality, for example, where the commies have made their greatest strides in ripping the culture apart, Virtually every conservative, or at least sufficient hordes of them, accept the narrative of sexual license, that what happens in the privacy of the bedroom is somehow totally unconnected to the common good. Take, for example, this startling video of Dave Rubin, hailed as some kind of liberal-turned-conservative. Rubin and his gay partner, civil husband, marriage dude, because all that is now okay in conservative circles, make note, he and his man killed a number of embryos in order to get their rent-a-womb pair of embryos through in vitro fertilization, also accepted and embraced by conservatives. Check that box. Notice the trend here. But what's very alarming here is his reason for making the video. To defend... Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Catholic Ron DeSantis, against charges of gay hate because, wait for it, the conservative Ron DeSantis is completely accepting of Ruben, his shack-up buddy, them having a family, and the method involving the killing of embryos. DeSantis and his wife even sent the gay couples onesies for the babies. Did you catch that? You know what it showed up at my door two days ago? a package with two, we're having two babies, with two baby onesies from Ron DeSantis Get and his wife, here. okay? He does not hate gay people. At this PragerU event that I mentioned before, I introduced, I said, uh, Governor, this is my husband, David. Big hug, smile, took a picture, congratulations on the kid. This has nothing to do with an assault on gay rights. If DeSantis was saying gay people can't get married, gay people can't work, wh whatever the litany of stupidity that these people think, of course I would be against it. One clue that the path of transformation always flows from conservative turning into a lefty is what pro-lifers have seen on the Supreme Court for decades. Never has there been anyone sitting around pondering why justices who were liberal when they were appointed all of a sudden became conservative. That never happens. It's always the other way. The flow always goes the other way every single case. Why is this? Why is it always so-called conservatives who are always in the process of being transformed and almost never the other way around? Even in the case of someone like Dave Rubin, it's never any kind of transformation of significance. It's only some economic policy or some archaic constitutional principle with no real day-to-day -day impact on the life of the nation. All of this was the underlying unrest about Kevin McCarthy being elected Speaker of the House a handful of moderate conservatives 
didn't believe he wouldn't transform himself when the rubber hit the road. Conservatives, for example, will claim they are too busy just leading their daily lives, getting married, raising families, going to work, all good things, of course, acting as though the framework of American life is still in the 1950s Leave it to Beaver. What they don't realize is they are being picked off one by one, taken out a man or a family at a time. The Marxists are winning big time, and it's because enough good men, good, are doing nothing of serious import, and there aren't actually that many good men. Then there's all the talk and chatter of a national divorce. Really? Just what would that look like? You can't do anything geographically. This is in the 1860s with the southern states and the northern states. The red state, blue state dichotomy isn't really that much of a dichotomy. Red is just the color you temporarily are before eventually turning blue, or at least some shade of blue. Is there a state in America ready, seriously, to secede? because that state wants to declare no-fault divorce and divorce and remarriage illegal, ban contraception, forbid abortion, make gay marriage illegal, get rid of porn, and kick out those who do support all this, because you got to kick them out. If not, they will sit there slowly poisoning the well, just like they did before, which has brought us to this point. In short, not one state in America is prepared to abide by and enforce the natural moral law, certainly not its entirety. So all this talk of a national divorce, it's pie in the sky, because it's not based on reality. Remember, a conservative who accepts any part of that agenda today is nothing more than tomorrow's Marxist and joins them in their march. Total, absolute purity is the only way to combat taint of any kind. Conservatism in the culture and the church was long ago diluted and without massive resistance to it and soon pretending it's going to be different sometime down the road. Yeah, that's just fool's gold. God love you. I'm Michael Boris.